Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. My name is Travis Kaler and this is a quick tip in Maya. Today, we're going to be talking about custom pivots. So in Maya, if you hold D on the keyboard or if you hit insert on the keyboard, you'll go into edit pivot mode. And just the same, under tool settings, under pivot, you'll see edit pivot. And if you click this, this is another way to get in and out of that mode. So once you're in edit pivot mode, you can move your pivot around any way that you want and you can also rotate it. Now the next thing is you can hold X on the keyboard so you can grid snap it or you can hold V on the keyboard and you can vert snap. I'm going to put this back for now. Now also while you're in edit pivot mode you can select faces, edges, or verts and when you do this you'll snap your orientation. Now if you look under your tool settings under pivot you'll see position and orientation. Now when we did that last, it only changed the orientation. But if we turn on position, we can actually move the pivot to that point that we clicked. Here we'll try a vert, try an edge, Let's do a few of these. So once you move this, it can be useful so you can move along that axis. Now another reason you might want to use this is when you're in vertex or edge or face mode. So I'll just demonstrate something real quick. I'm going to grab these two faces. I'm going to extrude them, but I'm not going to move them. So what I want to do is I want to take these and align them along this axis of this face. And I can eyeball it, but it's not going to be precise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off position. And I'm going to select this face. Whoops. I'm going to go into edit pivot mode and I'm going to select this face and I'm going to go out of edit pivot mode and now I can move these along the, that axis and it's perfect. Now the last thing to note here is the axis orientation. You'll see it says custom. So if you click this drop down, what we were in originally was object. And if you go back to that, you'll see it's just square. And what's nice about this is that Whenever you customize the pivot in a certain way, uh, it doesn't destroy your object or world. So then you have a lot more options to you for how you want to work. So if you guys found this quick tip useful and you'd like to see more, like, comment, and subscribe. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.